This is the tale of Sir Gawain. And Dr. Green Thumb. Hello, my name is Dr. Green Thumb. So while this movie may be a psychedelic trip, it is, is it, is it high on weed? It's, uh, it's high on, I don't know, something. Does weed put you to sleep? <laughs> it can if you smoke too much of it, I've, well, I've been told. Well, m- maybe I should have smoked weed before this movie. Why? Did it put you to sleep? It did. It no, was, it didn't. You stayed awake the whole time. I did stay time. awake, mainly because I was like, maybe there's going to be some nips from uh, Alicia Vikander. Uh, if you wanted to see those, you just go to, uh, what's that movie? Oh, shit. What is that movie where she's the robot? She does the robot? With, um... Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh my gosh. Shit. Oscar Isaacs. Yep, it's a good movie. What um, the hell ex is Machina. There we go. <laughs> We're good at this. She got them little itty bitty nipples. <laughs> she goes full bore in that movie. She does. So so you're saying there is no nudity in this? There no. There's sex, but there's no actual nudity. No there's action. there's a scene. I'm gonna get into that was weird as shit. But are we'll, we? No, no, don't spoil the whole thing. We're just gonna. I, uh, I guess we have to spoil the whole thing. Yeah, because I still don't. I went into this blind. I had no idea what Doctor Green Thumb and the Green Hornet were doing in this. <laughs> I thought Green Lantern was gonna show up at one time. <laughs> it does anything green? I thought exciting. the Dark Knight was fighting the Green Knight. Uh huh. And none of that happened. Yeah. Who's an Arthurian legend? Yes, this is based on an Arthurian legend. There's even a uh, J.R.R. Tolkien version of it oh where he collected yeah i think he does a version in fact the poem itself it's middle what is it middle english middle eastern it is not but it is uh it's 2530 lines long that is too many organized into 101 stanzas nope each of these stanzas consists of a series of alliterative long lines followed by a five line bob and wheel that include (laughs) include one (laughs) one single stress line Four three stress lines rhyming ABBA. A-B-A B A. I have so many questions. One, what's a poem? Two, <laughs> what are stanzas? Is that George Costanza? <laughs> no. <laughs> what's Abba Baba? <laughs> Alibaba, the Indian Amazon? Nope. Uh-huh. That's China, China's Amazon. Indian Amazon. It's one of the Amazons. Each of the sections is called it they're organized by fits. What about haiku? No, not a haiku. So I, I do, I am very familiar with this. Uh, I would, I'm mostly familiar with this poem. So I am going. I did not see the movie. Uh, Noob Noob did, and I did not know that it was a thing. So I went into this just being like, I know who King Arthur is. <laughs> did you even know who that was? I did. They don't re- like this movie. Seems like they expect you to know what this legend is. I have heard that that they do not tell you anything. Not super complicated, but they still expect you to know things. Yes. And I'm just like, I know nothing. Okay. John Stone. So I will. I, I have this here as a reference in case I make a mistake, but I'm fairly sure I know what's going on. Why don't you spark notes? What the hell this is? So it starts. Um, Sir Gawain is one of the knights of the round table as far as I know I think he's one of the youngest knights and he's still he still wants to prove his valor and his chivalry and he hasn't necessarily done that yet and one day a an enormous uh, knight enters and he's the green knight this crazy scary fella and he challenges the entire court and his challenge is that you get the first strike on him and then in one year's time, he will reciprocate the same exact uh, blow to you. And so uh, Sir Gawain, wanting to be boisterous and wants to prove his his chivalry and how how he's you know a great knight because he has he has no deeds to his name yet, decides that he's going to go f- he's going to be the one to deliver the blow, and that his blow will be so powerful that the Green Knight won't be able to reciprocate in one year's time. Following me so yeah, far, uh-huh. has this all happened? Uh, kinda. More or less. Yeah. So then he. That's he, like the first ten minutes. So then he, he he ends up you know being being very proud of himself, cuts off the Green Knight's head, and the Green Knight picks up his head and goes I'll see you in a year buddy and uh, then 
you know, eventually going like he he, he gains a lot of valor. People are very yeah. Uh-huh. Um, you know, oh, you're so you're such a pimp daddy. Sir Gawain, you took out, you cut off the Green Knight's head, and then all the sex. As it gets closer and closer, he he slowly realizes that he has to fulfill his end of the bargain, and then goes on his journey to go do that. And how does it end? How does it end? Okay, we're skipping all the way. Like there's nothing. He just goes on the journey. Does something happen during the, the but journey? But you said he has all the sex. Is that is that? Depicted? No, that that was the year leading up to him leaving. Okay, they don't go into. He that. smashes a Tomb Raider. Okay, he smashes Tomb Raider the entire year. Okay, so uh, w- as he's going through, uh, he he's looking for the Green Chapel, is where he's supposed to yep. meet, and he finds a castle in the wilderness, and there's a lord who who lives there, but the lord says, "Oh, you should rest with me," and like, well, you know, he's the lord is is offering him something that was very important back in the day, like uh, hospitality. Like today, it means like, oh, I stayed at a nice hotel. But back then, it meant like you would be protected from harm. Like you are a guest in my house and no no harm will befall you. Because, you know, there was like raiders and people would just kill each other all the time. So um, they go hunting different animals and there's supposed to be different uh, sim- symbolism to those animals. Is any of this ringing about? Uh, sort of happens, yeah. Okay. And then he uh, meets the there's there's a, a a woman I don't know if it's his it's if his I think it's his wife but it could be his daughter I'm pretty sure it's his wife though, and the the wife is very lascivious like she like tries to seduce Sir Gawain and he's like no no no, I'm I'm a chivalrous knight I won't do anything she says I I'll give you a kiss <laughs> if you give me a kiss I'll you know I'll I'll do something for you and he's like no 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 can't do that um and then <laughs> she offers him something like a, a a cloth that he can wear around his neck that will protect him from the green knight mm. and she but he he does end up kissing her to get it <laughs> which is a violation <laughs> of the the rules <laughs> and then, then he goes to meet the Green Knight, and and things happen. What? No, I, I want to know. I have to keep going. You yeah, know what happens? That's what I really want to know. What's the ending when he gets to? Okay, so uh, as far as I know, it he goes to cut his. He goes and he puts his head down uh-huh. on the uh, chopping block, and the Green Knight goes to chop his head off, but pulls at the last or stops at the last second, and reveals himself to be the lord of the manor and he goes uh you know what? you were still wh- while you were chivalrous you still didn't f- 100% fulfill what was going on but you still you were still fine like he didn't actually do anything wrong and he lets him go Great. and he goes back Great. so yeah that's not what happened at all okay uh well sort of what happened but uh so the beginning is is pretty straightforward the uh, they the Green Knight comes in while they're at the round table and says it's a Christmas game they want to play. I believe it happens during Christmas. Yeah, yeah but no, it literally says it's a game to play. So nothing. Okay. It's not like a real oh, challenge. It's like, it's, it's like a game. Yeah. No, I think in this, uh, in the actual tale, the Green Knight is um, clearly challenges them to a blow for blow. Okay. Yeah, that's not. Uh, just wants to do a Christmas game, mm-hmm. and uh, says the whole same thing. I'll return the blow. Yada yada. The guy. No one else volunteers. Got why one. they're scared? Or yeah, I don't know why. Okay, just nobody does. Then Arthur uh, gives him Excalibur, and oh, he, he, he goes. Okay, he uses Excalibur to okay. cut the guy's head off, and mm-hmm. then he gets up, and then he's like, "Oh shit!" And then they basically go through and tell his whole tale, of, like his uh, valor growing, because everyone's like, "Oh my god, he slayed the Green Knight!" Yeah. And then he's uh, you know smashing smashing bits with Tomb Raider, and then uh, he basically becomes a dick from there. Uh huh. I thought he was already kind of like a loud. He was like kind he of wasn't. like a immature kid, yeah. sort of. Mm-hmm. But then uh, Alicia Vikander, his girlfriend or whatever, is like, "Will you uh, be be king and I'll be your queen?" He's like, he just looks at her and says nothing. King of what? Uh, he's the next in line to. He's okay. He's not, but that's fine. So anyway, he just basically is like stone cold, like doesn't say anything, goes off on his journey. I'll see you later, baby. But before that, his mom makes some sort of magical quilt. Oh, to okay. tie around his neck to protect him. Around his neck? Around his waist. Oh, around his waist. Okay. So then he's on his journey and a thief, uh, a thief sets him up, takes the shit. So he doesn't have it. 
goes and does some trippy shit because it's an A24 movie. He goes to some empty abandoned house and there's some decapitated girl that's like, I need my head. It's in the water. And he's like, are you alive or dead? She's like, that doesn't matter. I want my head. Just get my head, dude. And then he gets the head and then it, Come on, bro. It, it's just like bones. It's weird. Okay. Then the next one is the giant that you've probably seen in the trailers. There's some random ass giant that shows up and it like takes him. I'm like, I don't know if this is real. What's happening? Uh-huh. <laughs> then he eventually gets to the Lord and the cat Okay, he makes to near towards the... Towards the end, yeah. He gets mm-hmm. to there, the Lord offers him the home, all that stuff, and then his wife looks exactly like his girlfriend. Okay. So it's Alicia Vi- it's the same person. A little tricky. So that's weird. Tricky, tricky. And it seems Be like he... sure Dr. Green Thumb he, was not involved in He this. seems like he acknowledges this. That, so, that what? That he's high? No, it's like the same girl. Oh, like, she acknowledges that that's no, his... No, he, he acknowledges, like, you look identical. Oh, he, he doesn't says, say anything, but he's confused when, okay. it, like, so it's trippy. Okay. And then, um, he's going out hunting and stuff, and then he says, if you go, I'm gonna go and bring you back the best catch that I can find, but you have to give me something in this house when I'm gone. He's like, I already have everything. He's like, this house has a mysterious way of finding things. Okay. So that's when... His wife or whatever comes in and is like, oh, I have this uh, band that'll protect you. Okay. The same thing the thief stole. And then she goes for the, sk- uh, the kiss and he's like, no. But then it gets real weird. And he's like, do you... Basically, she's trying to seduce him. He's like, do you want to fuck me? And he's like, yes, but I'm, I'm not going to because I'm a knight. So then she gets on top of him, starts jerking him off. What? You don't see any of this, okay. but it's clearly You're assuming like... assuming the worst. And then it gets... No, no, you confirm the worst. What do you mean? Because it's like, it, it's getting... There's climax okay. coming, and she's like, you need to take it. And, she, and she's like, take it. And he rips it off. Ta- rips what off? The, the cloth. It's around oh, her waist. okay. Around then, her waist? Yeah. Okay. And then you look down, and there's fucking jizz on it. On what? On the cloth. Okay. He comes on the cloth. Okay. And then she just whispers like, you're no knight, and then walks away. I'm like, what oh, the fuck just happened? Oh, what a jerk. What that happened? That wasn't very nice. Why did he... He just besmirched yep. her cloth. Uh, and then he takes it, obviously, because that's supposed to protect okay. him. So he wraps his, clo- his gross cloth. Fast forward to the next weird part is uh-huh. he meets the knight, and the knight's about to cut his head off, mm-hmm. and then he backs away and runs away. He's like, I can't do this. I'm the knight, done. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, Ga- the- Gawain runs away, returns home, says he did it all. And then oh. there's like this massive fast forward of time. Mm. He breaks up with his girlfriend, gets mm. her pregnant, takes the baby, becomes king after Arthur dies, mm-hmm. uh, becomes some sort of like dictator, and then his kingdom crumbles, and then he's about to have the walls breached and get murdered, mm-hmm. and then he wakes back up and he's right in front of the night again. Oh, okay. So then he's like, oh, hold- a possible future. Yeah, so then he like starts freaking out. And then he's like, hold on. And then he takes the protective cloth off and throws uh-huh. it away. And he's like, okay, I'm ready. And then mm. the knight says, like, you're ready. And he's like, now off with your head. And then he, like, smirks at him and lets him go. It's implied that he lets him go once he takes off the cloth because he got his honor. Oh, okay. So he got it. So it's a, it's, it's a take on it. But I didn't know if he, like, had that vision of the future in the actual mm, tale. I don't think so. But like, that was a weird, like, last 20 minutes of a future. Oh, there's, like, like, like it was a it long... It was, like, a whole thing. Yeah, I, I thought that was the actual movie. Oh, okay. And then they trick you. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, it ends literally where he's, like, and now off with your head or something. Okay, but he doesn't... You Actually don't know if him. he cuts off? No, no. He, he lifts him up. He's, like, and he, like, smirks. He's, like, and now off with... He's, like, you passed or something. He's, like, oh, okay. now off with your head. That's, okay. like, a joke. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so it's directed by David Lowry. Is it well directed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Yeah, it's a little boring. You boring said. is sin, but a sure. Tw- it's an A24. I'm sure that Lamb movie is going to be just. It's like a slow burn. Slow burn. It's Dev Patel's good. I like Dev Patel. Like I said, they make him unlikable. It's the, there's. I think they're supposed to do that to make it more sense to today's audience. Yeah, they make him unlikable, and then that's why I thought that he actually oh, was the coward. She's supposed to be a prostitute, apparently. Oh? Yeah, that's what it says here. He's awakened um, by his lover, a prostitute. Oh, she's just a... Pro- okay, that's not really confirmed. They don't say anything. No. Know, right? Yeah. Uh, taking place... I mean, they're basically going to tell us what you said. Uh, la, 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 la. There's like witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's too much to read. We're, we're like in the very beginning. But yeah, it was a good directed movie. Slow burn, but so fucking boring. I don't know if I would ever want to buy it and watch it again. Like mm-hmm. one time's enough. It's like one of those like mind, mind melters. 
Morty's it, Mind Blowers. And it's also... Oh, that was the one. Morty's Mind Blowers. Yes. Uh, I know. That's why I said it. Yeah. And we'll link that video in the description <laughs> below. Oh, we don't have... The one where we don't say Morty's Mind Blowers? Whatever. Whatever. Like our Rick and Morty videos. Bitch. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I would not recommend it for someone that uh, doesn't like the Green Knight or knows what it is. If you don't know what it is, you're going to want to sleep because it's so boring. <laughs> I, I think I want to watch it, but I'm not sure. Watch it for free. Based on don't pay money for it. Okay. So if it comes online, stream it. Exactly. Don't pay money for it. Um, watch Dr. Green Thumb instead. Yes. Uh, that is a Cypress Hill reference for those of you in the know. Now you know. Exactly. And knowing is half the battle. But you know what Noob Noob knows about? Smoking more joints than smoking our like button. Like Dev Patel smoked Alicia Vikander's pole. Oh my god, he <laughs> smoked her pole. I, don't I, know I would smoke that. her pole, honestly. I don't know what She's that means. She's attractive. Uh, she was in the Danish girl. I'd be her Danish girl. Obviously. But it would be awesome if you could like our button like I like Danishes. <laughs> you like those Danishes. And subscribe. Danishes? Like I'd subscribe to Alicia Vikander's butthole. Oh my god, always with the butthole. Anyway, uh, be sure to also catch our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that on any platform that carries any such thing, as far as I know, like Amazon Play. iTunes, we're there for you to listen to for free. Yeah. And... You can also hang out with us on Friday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Did I say p.m.? Yep. It is p.m. And uh, come party with us. We like to party. You like to party. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven, baby. When we have actual Wi-Fi working. It works, or if YouTube doesn't drop us. Yep. And um, I think that's all we have to say about the Green Knight. And we're on to the Green Thumbs. <laughs> on. Thank you.